finally made my dream come true with an ab line. I'd stopped comparing my body to what I see on social media. I feel like achieving this one gave me so much confidence and belief in myself. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So finally, as you can see from the title, I'm finally sharing with you my little diet journey and my road to weight loss. So I really thought this topic wouldn't be as relevant anymore. But now that we're back, I wanted to share with you how I lost my quarantine weight. So before I start, I hope to remind you that no diet fits one person. I hope that for your body type and for your health, you would recommend a doctor or a dietitian to help suit your body because we're all different and we're all beautiful in our own way. So after that disclaimer, let's move on to the video. So a little background on my weight gain. So we did quarantine sort of 2020. I can't believe it's almost two years ago already because I started quarantining here in Cebu March 2020. And from then on, I lived with Ben's family, Ben and I, for the very first time. We were together 20 Four, seven, and we did what we both love to do, which is to eat. Now, now that we couldn't go out and do our usual routine where we move for most of the day, well, we did gain weight. Just like anyone else, all we did was stay home, do nothing, lay down, watch Netflix. I think it was so crucial, especially for the first three to four months of quarantine. So it was from March till about July. We literally just stayed at home and did nothing. Even if I was working out, I did gain a lot of weight. So I didn't really care, especially when Ben proposed. And when we moved into our new home, I didn't care about my weight. I was just being happy and savoring the moment. And I really do not regret that. Even if I gained that much weight, which I'm going to share with you in a little bit, I I feel like that was one of my happiest years of my life and I really do not regret any moment of it. At a time where everybody's experiencing the pandemic for the first time, I think whatever makes you happy, just do it, especially for your mental health. And that time, what I needed was to, well, eat and enjoy time with Ben's family. Anyway, come about November, December, that's when we moved in here. Same goes, same habits. Probably Ben and I would eat four meals in a day because including midnight snack and we would drink and Christmas, of course, we would see his family and of course we enjoyed eating as well and that went on for maybe about a few more months and then all of a sudden I feel like that's when I started to realize that I do not fit into the clothes that I brought from March 2020. That was maybe 2021 already, the start of 2021 and I feel like that's when my confidence went down. After that when Ben and I were gonna get married. This is January 2021. That's when I realized when I was fitting my dress that wow, I really did gain weight. But this time I didn't know how much yet. Thankfully, I did Trizzy, and that's when I first did a seven day cleanse. Actually, I did 21 days in total, which is the Trizzy Total Fiber. I would just do a little break in between. And then, thankfully, from my first fitting, actually, first and second fitting, maybe two days before my wedding, because of Trizzy, I actually had to alter my dress for two inches. So this time, I think. I think roughly my waist was about almost 29, if you can imagine that. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I mean, I used to be extra small and small prior to my wedding and I knew that wasn't my waist anymore. It's just that I was so in denial. I didn't want to do anything about it yet. I did Trizzy, thankfully, and I felt so much more confident during my wedding day. And I continued doing Trizzy every other week. I would just take, of course, a long break in between because Trizzy is a fiber drink that you could trust because I think you've seen this countlessly in my stories, how Trizzy is one of my best friends, especially whenever I do pig out. So anyway, moving on after that i think i bought a weighing scale which is this one so this one was when i tracked my weight for the very first time and i realized that i was 60 kilograms so that's about 60 times 2.2 that's 132 pounds <laughs> coming from i think i was about 117 before the pandemic or even 116 if i'm not on my period and that's when i realized damn i really did gain 20 pounds <laughs> and that's when i knew that I had to do something about it. So at first, I wasn't motivated yet. The only time I got motivated was when Ben and I did our yearly blood test results and my cholesterol was so high. But so my blood works weren't good. So that's when I knew I really had to do something about it. So I did contact Kim King and she's a specialist. She has a lot of accomplishments under her belt. And that's when she introduced OMAD to me. So OMAD is a one meal a day diet along with almost four liters of water a day. So the first three days, that's when I did a whole complete water fast to ease into the diet. And then after that, she slowly eased me into OMAD. So with an OMAD diet, in the first month, all I ate 
great was this one. So I did buy this water bottle. You guys have seen this endlessly on my blog, on my stories. And it's a 3.75 liter bottle. And this was my gauge to how much water I was intaking for one whole day. So I would eat my first and last meal of the day at 4 p.m. and the rest would just be water, supplements, and coffee. So that's basically it. So during my eating window, all I was allowed to eat was this one. So I'm gonna be putting it right here so that this video won't be too long talking about it. So apart from the food that you would see here, I actually drank Trizzy. So Trizzy came up with a lot of products already, but this has got to be my favorite. If you're wondering which of the Trizzy products I drank during my wedding, it was this one. So this is the Trizzy Clean Fiber. And basically what it does is you just drink it either in the morning or any time of the day that you prefer. And then six to eight hours later, it's bye-bye bloat, which means you go to the banyo and do your business. You just basically crap your toxins out of your body. And that's it. And if you're wondering if it's painful, it's not painful. What I love about this, it's a painless detox drink. I've tried the teas. I've tried other fiber drinks. Sometimes it feels like you have an LBM, but this one definitely does not feel that way. So the thing with Trizzy is it's made with thermogenic fiber blends and it comes with fat burners as well to help you lose bloating and weight. It comes with vitamins such as iron and calcium as well to keep you healthy. And if you're wondering how it tastes like, this is apple flavor and it may look like green juice that not everyone loves. It's actually really yummy. Personally, I love it. I can really drink this every single day as you can see with my experience. So that helped me shed pounds as well. So if you're wondering, especially for those who live in Visayas and Mindanao because Luzon, this is available online and everywhere in Luzon. You can actually buy this very, very soon in Mercury Drug in this min. So that's good news because we can finally see it in person. I know it comes sometimes with a starter pack, but I really suggest getting this whole box because it already comes with seven sachets. It means that you can complete your seven day detox with this Trizzy Clean Fiber. Okay, moving on. So if you're wondering how I cook my food, there are actually certain ingredients that you can only cook your food with and that's the healthy way. She made me change my usual canola oil or some oil that's usually found in most Filipino households. She made me cook my food only in avocado oil. She made me change my soy sauce into amino acid. So that's a healthier alternative. And real Himalayan salt. So the first few days, I actually put Himalayan salt into my water to help me with electrolytes, especially because you're not used to it yet. And if you guys have a sweet tooth like my family, and actually I do as well, for craving for a dessert, all I ate was frozen berries, which I bought in healthy options. I would only eat a handful per serving so that lasted me for a long time and if I was craving for chips especially when I was nearing my period I would put Himalayan salt in it so that's what Kim actually suggested so if you're wondering what I drank during my fasting window I could only drink water I'm no green tea and dandelion tea coffee and that's it during at 4 p.m. that's when I can eat my meal and then after that I would drink Trizzy and then the rest would just be water coffee if I wanted to drink coffee after. So then that's really what I did for one whole month and that helped me lose weight. Now I'm working out especially on the first month. So it was really hard. I think the first two weeks of my diet I wasn't working out at all. So Kim suggested I buy a walking pad. That's why I have a Xiaomi one here. I could put the link down below for all the products I'll be mentioning in this vlog. And every time I would watch K-drama, every time I would do a Zoom meeting, I would just be walking on that pad and I would try to do 10,000 steps a day. And I feel like that really helped shed pounds as well because walking is always, always healthy for anyone. Just to keep your body moving, I feel like for me to be a totally different new person, I had to work out in some some way. So after that, after maybe some Pilates of online classes, I couldn't really do cardio except for the walking. And then about two weeks into it, that's when I started to do Pilates classes in a studio. And I could really last the whole day until 4 p.m. I feel like if you keep yourself in check and remind yourself why you're doing it, it would be so much easier. You just really have to ease your body into it. So now let's talk about my weight loss. So in the first five days from 60 kilograms, I went down to 58 points. 0.5 kilos so that's almost 1.5 kilos off my weight. I feel like that's even water weight because I wasn't eating salt anymore. I didn't my body didn't have that much water retention. So I feel like those pounds or that 1.5 kilos was really just water weight. 
and then a week later I was 57.8 pounds and that's when I actually really felt different I would wake up and feel so much lighter by about two weeks later I was 56.35 kilos that's when along with Pilates and the walking that I would do at home I feel like that's when my body started to tone up more and I was slowly coming out of becoming a medium to slowly becoming a size small so meaning I got to slowly fit into my old clothes again so about three weeks into the diet I was 54.65 kilos that was I remember my happiest day because finally I was slowly just like a few pounds away from my goal weight my goal weight was actually 50 kilos so I was aiming 50 kilos even if it's about seven pounds lighter than my weight before quarantine because I feel like that was when I felt the most confident about myself and that's the most important and on my first month mark I lost a total of almost seven kilos which is 14 pounds and I was 53.35 kilos and I was so happy because not more than the number I think it was more if I accomplished something so that was my first month experience and after that oh I sent to the diet two months after I started my diet that's when I was 52.60 kilograms and then last month which was December before I went to Manila I finally reached my goal weight which is 50.6 kilograms so that time I took it slow after especially the first month because I feel like I was really happy with how I looked and then after that I started to add healthier alternatives to my diet like I started to eat pasta. Those so are just like little portions of the things that I love to eat and that really helped me maintain the weight that I have. And of course Pilates really helped as well. Pilates for me is one of the things that makes me happy. I feel like dieting is always best complemented with working out, with trizzy, with motivation, and it's just an overall balanced lifestyle. I think that's really the key to it. Guys, and I might make it sound so easy but it really wasn't. I feel like it's one of the things I'm most proud of because of I actually put my heart and soul and my body into a thing that I wanted to achieve. It's also really, really hard. No doubt, it's very difficult. I was allowed to eat out, but I would always just choose the simplest thing on the menu, meaning it was cooked the simplest way. So less MSG, less condiments, less sauce, the better. So basically when I ate out, I would eat steak, I would eat fish that's just steamed, or if it was fried, I always tell the waiter to put the sauce on the side. It was just that. It was actually really easy. So there, that's what I did. And now I wanted to talk about the changes that I saw in myself ever since I did the diet, ever since I drank Trizzy. So the first one was the changes I saw in my skin. Like I said earlier, I feel like because I was drinking that much water and I made sure that my supplements were complete, I made sure to eat food that was very healthy. I would inject a lot of fruits and vegetables into it. I feel like the effect on my skin was so much better. So second was I actually finally made my dream come true of an ab line. I know it's so superficial but for the past 27 years of my life I would just get so jealous of that ab line. There that one. And finally I achieved it with the help of course of my diet and Trizzy. So with Trizzy it helps with bloating. Of course when you're bloated your ab line won't come out and then after taking Trizzy in six to eight hours later it's bye bye bloat for me and it made it happen. So I'm sure Pilates also really helped because of course it won't come out without any form of exercise. So third is let's go when it comes to mental. So I feel like with the diet that I did and I researched about this and Kim also mentioned it. If you remove that much junk and that much refined sugar from your diet, you actually become happier and you become more energetic, which I really saw it. My mind was so much clearer. I don't have brain fog anymore. Is that what they call it? Or hazy? I forgot what they call it, but I know brain fog because that much sugar can really affect you yourself mentally, the way you think. You won't even realize it, but if you have a sugar high or if there's too much MSG, you would notice that you're so sleepy or so lazy. And and when I removed sugar and MSG and stuck to healthier choices, that's when I realized that I don't have those feelings anymore. So third one is it's really all about maintenance. If I didn't choose healthier alternatives after my first month, after going so close to my weight goal, of course I could just gain it all back if I go back to my bad eating habits before that. So it's all about maintaining and it's all about finding the right balance. It doesn't mean that I will eat one meal a day my whole life. It's about eating by portion. 
portion. So you can't just have like one bar of chocolate today, then have a bag of chips also. And no thing, it's really all about balance, I feel like. And you can reward yourself, of course. Like me, I would eat chocolates now. My second to the last would be, of course, because I was working towards a goal that I set for myself and I'd stopped comparing my body to what I see on social media. So because I would do a progress report for myself only. I wouldn't even show Kim. I wouldn't show anyone, my sister. I wouldn't even show Ben my photos. So I was doing it for myself. I feel like I was just comparing my body this week to my body last week, which really put me in a better frame of mind. And I was just really comparing to how I looked last week instead of comparing myself to a person I saw on Instagram, to a model I saw on social media or on YouTube. So yeah, I feel like I was in a healthier state of mind because of this this one again like what i said earlier it's not really about me losing almost 20 pounds in a few months but it was really all about working towards a goal that i set for myself and the most important change that i saw in myself was confidence i feel like after i did this diet and i feel like i achieved what i put myself and i put my mind into especially coming from a quarantine where none of us could really achieve what we wanted to do because we were just stuck at home couldn't really bring ourselves out of the box too much and reach our highest potential because we were boxed in literally in the four walls of our home i feel like achieving this one gave me so much confidence and belief in myself which is always the most important thing loving yourself putting yourself first, taking care of yourself, and confidence is really one of the best gifts you can give yourself. And it doesn't mean that you have to do my diet to feel confident, but doing something for yourself, may it be losing weight or just starting a new skincare regime or starting to actually taking care of yourself will make a big, big difference. And when you do find confidence to love yourself, to put yourself first above a lot of things, then it will really come out. You'll look happier. People will tell you you're blooming, you're glowing. So there! guys i hope that you learned a thing or two from me sharing how i lost weight and let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions and again guys i did consult a dietitian i did consult a specialist but if you want to try this yourself please 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 do consult one for you because not one diet fits everyone but i do recommend jersey so this one is going to be available in mercury drugstores in Vismin. so if you guys bought this and it works for you let me know in the comment section down below as well so all the details you need for the trizzy clean fiber drink and where it's available will be in the details down below so again this is Vern. thank you and don't forget to subscribe